Hey guys, welcome back to my full Termax course where I'll guide you through using Termax from the ground up. This course spans everything from the basics like what Termax is and the fundamental commands to more advanced topics like coding, hacking and web development right on an Android device. Let's get started. Termax is a free and open source terminal emulator for Android. It enables you to run a Linux environment on your Android device. This means that you can run hacking and cybersecurity tools commonly found on operating systems such as Kali Linux. Plus, you can do programming and development directly on your Android device. To get started, download an app called FDroid from the link in the description. Note that the vision of Termax in the Google Play Store is outdated. Once FDroid is installed, search for Termax and install it. When you open Termax for the first time, you'll see this interface, the current working directory, the input area, and prompts. Try your first command, ls, to list the files of your current directory. Use this command to list files and folders. Now let me introduce you to a few fundamental commands. ls lists files and directories in your current directory. cd is used to change directory and pwd prints the current working directory. We will also discuss the Android file structure and demonstrate how to use ls, cd and pwd for navigation. Now that you are familiar with the interface, let's dive into the Android file structure. Understanding this structure is crucial for effective navigation and file manipulation. In the Android file system, everything is organized hierarchically. The root directory is represented by forward slash and other directories branch out containing various files and sub directories. Let me show you how to navigate your home directory in your Android device. Make sure Termax has permissions to access your storage by running this command, Termax setup storage. From there, just write cd storage to navigate your storage. Use the ls command to list the contents of your current directory. This should show you all the files and folders in that folder. To move to another directory, use the cd command followed by the directory name. Confirm your location with pwd which displays the absolute path of your current directory. In addition to navigation, Mastering basic file operations is essential. These commands will empower you to manage files and directories effectively. CP or copy files is used to duplicate files within your directories. MV or move files is used to move files to different locations and rename them. RM or remove files is used to remove files. Exercise caution when using this command as this command permanently deletes files. Adding the R flag allows you to delete directories and their contents. Let's put these commands into action. Open Termax, create a new directory using the make directory command, move a file into it using the mv command, I encourage you to open Termax and experiment with the commands discussed. Navigate through the different directories, list their contents, and perform basic file operations. Remember, the more you practice, the more comfortable you become with Termax. The real learning happens when you actively engage with the terminal. Don't hesitate to explore and make mistakes with it. It's part of the learning process. Next time, we'll dive into more advanced commands and concepts. To get your name in the credits of this video, access to all my source code, the Vector M exclusive WhatsApp group, and downloadable thumbnails. Consider supporting me on Patreon using the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.